Hello again and welcome to Lillybrook. This is Monday the 7th of February. I was due to play yesterday but the wind was howling and it had plenty of rain mixed in with it. I'm going to be trying to fix my iron problems today. First one being aiming in the right direction, which always helps. And the second is to stop me bowing this left wrist when I take the club away. So I want to take my wrist back very neutral, very, very quiet. And that should help me out. Now I've warmed up in the net, which tells you the square root of nothing, basically, because you can't see the ball flight. So we're going to be looking at irons today. Now I've had a few questions recently. Is the Thailand trip still on? Oh yes, I'll tell you about it as we go around. Short tea required. The first thing I can see here is I am actually pointing the correct way. I'm aiming at the middle of the left hand bunker, which is correct for the ball being below my feet. And that was pretty decent, yes. so I'm happy to start with. Not bad. Well, I'm happy with that too. Bet you thought that wasn't coming back. I hate this bloody tee shot. I can't wait to be back up there and have a straight hole. Now, the one thing you need to get into Thailand is a thing called the Thailand Pass. I've just got mine and the QR code I need to get in the country so I should be jumping for joy but there's one more thing I've got to do well I've just done a little calculation here and the 7 iron is the perfect club to miss everything get over the ditch and get into the second part of the fairway Yeah, I can't make up my mind. Yeah, it's going to be a double. Anyway, so the one thing I've got left to get into Thailand is the fit to fly certificate. That's the PCR test 48 hours before I go. So you can see why I'm not exactly jumping for joy right now over this upcoming holiday. Because that bit's kind of like out of control. I mean, the way that Omicron is, I could have it right now and not know about it. So I could go for that PCR test in a month's time, have absolutely no symptoms, and fail it, and then I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, back right flag. I'm going to try an iron. But that means I can't fly it all the way to that back flag. I've got to go down the middle of the green and let it run out. This is a bit where these mats are awkward. They don't quite point where you want to go. Especially if you've got a bit of a side wind. That wind is starting to blow.
Yeah, I've overdone it and it's gone very long. That's going to be a pickle. This is very long. I'm pretty certain now that the club I needed off the tee box is the five iron and not the four. I'm going to bounce this through the rough and fortunately that is a skill that I have. And that's come right down the green. And the one-handed putt. And the one-handed miss. While I'm here hacking around, it seems appropriate to give a shout out to the high handicap golfer who I've just subscribed to. So uh, go pay him a visit, give him a subscribe and help him along his way. And I hope he gets a laugh out of this hole. Welcome to the new series, it's called How Not To Play Golf. Right, I think I'm struggling with what I'm going to say next, the correct order I'm going to say it in, and uh, not making a mess of it, so i got to do a retake. I should be playing golf, but I'm just not. So uh, how do you get into Thailand right now? Well, there's two ways. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of talking, which I've cut out. Partly because um, the rules for entry to Thailand have changed. But you can see how it disturbs me. Here, I'm square to the mat. And the mat points at the right rough. Jesus. These little uh, square mats can actually be a bit of a pain in the backside. Huge, huge shove. Yeah, I'm talking too much. You know, when I say play my best, I gotta shut up and play. I really mean it. <laughs> so the rules of entry have now changed. I need a PCR test before I fly. I need a PCR test on arrival. And then on day five, it's a rapid antigen test that you do yourself and you upload the result via an app. So it's all a lot easier than it was. And it does mean that I could have had my original holiday now because they're allowing people to fly into Bangkok again. So the last couple of months, December, January, February, been quite stressful really. And why doesn't the wind move that one? I really don't believe this. Bit of a strange wind direction today. Sometimes it's really shoving the golf ball. And that time it didn't. on the bloody green.
tell you, my mind is not on the job today. I need a ball washer. So one way of entering Thailand is via Phuket or one or two of the other islands. So you fly direct into Phuket, you test on arrival, you get taken to your hotel room and you await the results. On day five, you have to go to hospital, you get tested again, you go to your hotel room and you await the results. Now if you're negative, you're free to go and do whatever you like. If you're positive with symptoms, then you can end up in hospital for 10 days. If you're positive without symptoms, then you get stuck in your hotel room for 10 days. But if you're positive without symptoms, you can request a test the following day, just in case the first test was a false positive. All this at your own expense, of course. Never underestimate Thailand's ability to extract money from the Falang, the foreigner. Anyway, let's see if I can play some golf. I mean, I, because I'm yakking, I'm totally switched off to what I'm doing, so you've got to forgive me some of this rubbish I'm playing, but once I finish the yakking, we'll see how I play after I've done with this how to get to Thailand video. I think it's fair to say that the short game needs a little work. But this is typical in the winter. You know, sometimes it just goes wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it until you've got the time to put in the reps to put it right. Well, the other way of getting in is uh, via Bangkok. Now, it's been very difficult to get in. You know, you were doing two weeks quarantine, that sort of thing. But on the 1st of November, they opened it for test and go. So you arrive at the airport, you're tested, you're taken by special transport to a special hotel, and you await the results. And if it's negative, off you go. Then as soon as the uh, Pokemon variant appeared, then uh, they scrapped that. But they reopened on the 1st of February. And it's a bit like the Phuket entry. You arrive, you test, you get taken by a special taxi to a special hotel at your expense, and you await the results. And then on day five, you have to leave your holiday hotel, go to a special hotel where you are tested again. And if you're negative, then you're free to go. You know, you wait there five or six hours or overnight, depending what time of the day you get your test and what day it is you get your test on. So, if you're going via Bangkok, you've got more expense in hotel rooms and special transport than if you go in via Phuket. Now, when they cancelled the test and go in the, uh, at the beginning of December, I'd booked my flights to Bangkok and I was going to have the holiday that I had originally planned. So I had to do some thinking and then changed my flights to Phuket. Free of charge, there was no charge from Singapore Airlines to change my destination. I checked with Gulf Asian, they've booked me all up, so I'm going to Phuket. Well, say goodbye to this ball, because this is the last that you, or I, will see of it. Yeah, no idea where that ball went after it hit the tree. The wind's shoving hard across. No chance to find this fairway. This ball is covered in mud. And I, you don't often see a golf ball do a perfect S shape. But it did. Wow, the mud on that ball. That went all over the place. 
Well, I'd like to use the sand wedge here, but I don't trust this soft ground and the lack of grass, so I'm going to bump and run it. I think from now on, as I'm not playing competitions, I'm going to start cleaning my ball and uh, improving the lie in the rough. You know, I've learnt how to dig a ball out of the mud. Now I need to learn how to hit it properly. About four feet. Plus it was absolutely plastered in mud. That rain on Sunday has just softened all of this up and made it much more difficult to play off. Right, I'm going to shut up now, play eight holes of the back nine, I'll skip 11 because it's just a short little par three, we'll see how we can score. But the strange thing about all these rule changes of getting into Thailand and me switching to Phuket is I'm having the holiday that I thought I would never have. You see, Phuket is the sort of honeymoon Honey, can't even speak, is the honeymoon destination in Thailand. So it is more expensive. The hotels are more expensive. The golf is, well, not really expensive. It's, it's about the same as the best courses I would normally play. So around about £125 a round, that sort of thing. But at the moment, with the lack of tourists, the hotels are about half price and the golf are, is about half price. And the great thing is, is that Golf Asian passed all those savings on to me. When I paid the final bill, it was an awful lot smaller than it would normally be. So the old Kung Flu, perversely, is doing me a bit of a favor and I've found the ball washer that I needed. Yeah, after yesterday's rain, a lot of the cups are full of water. So it is a little bit bizarre that I'm getting what I didn't think I could ever afford to have. The sad thing is, is that means no golf with golf sidekick. I dropped him an email and um, he simply couldn't come down. I think the flight from Bangkok to Phuket is about £60. It is very, very cheap. And as I said, the hotels are cheap. But he just doesn't have the time, unfortunately. It is a bit of short game that worked out okay. That's a decent par. Did you see which way the tea peg went? I'll tell you one thing, I really don't like this wind direction. I've, I've never played in it before. And it's making the golf course quite difficult.
I've got 12 rounds of golf booked out in Phuket. But there's a gentleman out there who's going to pick me up and uh, take me out for a round of golf. I think I could end up playing 14, maybe even 15 rounds. Depends how it all pans out. But uh, without doubt, it's good, you know it's going to be 14. So I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully, I'll actually hold some putts out there. The other good thing is when I come back, we'll be on the proper tees, not these mats. The golf course should be drier. There'll be some leaves on the tree. And hopefully, it'll actually be warmer than eight degrees with a strong wind chill. Ta-ra, wish me luck. <laughs> 